This is Eric Morbido from Just a Cook 845 on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Before I forget, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends, leave a comment below if you like what you see. Thank you for joining. Uh, it is Christmas 2022, and we are busy in our kitchen baking today, as we will be all week. I'm originally from Poughkeepsie, New York, from Poughkeepsie's Little Italy, very proud to say that. Now, living in the rural part of Dutchess County, I'm experiencing the wonderful farms and agricultural aspect of our area. Here at our home, we garden, we have chickens, we do some catering for friends, and we entertain a lot. Now, with the introduction of our YouTube channel, I'm able to invite you into our home and to our table and into my kitchen. However, if you're in my kitchen, I might ask you to help me clean up because I make a tremendous mess in the kitchen. Now, with the holidays here, we're baking cookies, Christmas cookies, most of which are of Italian origin. Growing up, I had the pleasure of my aunt and grandmother, Angie and my aunt Jenny, making cookies for all of their children, grandchildren, and spouses and siblings. Now that they're gone, we have nothing left but memories of their baking. So a couple years ago, Erin, my fiance and I, began baking cookies from what I can remember and looking for recipes to match up to the memories that I had. Erin bakes an Anazad cookie, which was a recipe given to her by her grandmother. And when I tasted this cookie, I said, this is a remarkable cookie. It's very much like what my aunt and grandmother used to make. So now that sort of lit the spark that encouraged me to begin putting together a collection of recipes, all based on memory and a tremendous amount of research of cookies from yesterday. So now for friends and family, I take a select number of orders each Christmas and get them shipped to destinations uh, throughout Florida, in the Midwest, and beyond, uh, as well as friends visiting us in our home to pick up cookies for their families. It's been an adventure. It's tremendous hard work, but I do enjoy it. Originally, having owned a few different restaurants and businesses, I'm now focused on private catering and restaurant consultation and uh, home catered events for friends and family here in the Dutchess County, Hudson Valley area. It uh, has taken me in a new direction, but with the Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, I'm bringing even more people to our table, which is wonderful. Most of what I cook, when people ask me, what do you specialize in? I would say, well, I could tell them things I don't specialize in, but things I do specialize in are Italian-American comfort food, Italian-American soul food, dishes originally that I grew up eating and enjoying. I like to cook seasonally. I like the luxury of going into the garden and figuring out what we're going to have for lunch or dinner. I also do a lot of canning. We'll talk about that more in another episode. But preserving the harvest has been something that we've been doing by canning dishes or vegetables, pressure canning, water bath canning, blanching and freezing. So right now we're enjoying spring peas, broccoli, green beans, all different items that we harvested in the spring and summer. But growing up in Poughkeepsie, we had a small garden with tomatoes and basil, and that was always something I wanted, my own garden, in which we do have now. The food is easy to make. It's not ingredients that you have to travel great distances for. I'm a big advocate of using what you have on hand. And uh, we, that's what we do. We cook on hand. We use local regional products. We drink local regional wines and liqueurs. Um, ingredients, so we bake at home. We do make some of our own bread occasionally. As the content and the channel develops, I want to hear what you'd like to see but I will share with you what I enjoy making. Pizza, salads, soups, seasonal food. It'll largely be Italian, because that's what I know. I don't believe in trying to be something you're not. Um, the recipes that we'll do, we'll occasionally do a new recipe. Most of what I cook 
is improvised. I don't often follow a recipe. I will work with what I have. Most of the time it works out well. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, you won't see that if it doesn't work out, but uh, I might mention it. Uh, I want the content to be interesting, and it has been, I think. Please leave comments below. Send a private note. A beautiful book that I picked up a number of years ago is called A Seat at the Table, which was published by the Beekman 1802 Farm and Our Sicilian Table, uh, has, which has been an inspiration to me because we're all neighbors, we're all friends, and there's always room at my table for you. So as the Christmas season continues, we're baking, we're cooking, we'll entertain a bit. Last Christmas, I spent it hospitalized. A near case, a near fatal case of diverticulitis tried to take me. It didn't work out in their favor. So here I am, a year later, in much better shape than I was. In fact, today as we film, December 18th, it is one year ago that I was in the ER and I was told I have diverticulitis. I'd be admitted, I would take antibiotics for a day or two, and then I would be home. Well, two days later, it wasn't going that well. I was being prepped for emergency surgery. After tremendous pain, I was told I was about to perforate, perforate and could end up septic and I would die if I didn't have the surgery. I've had to kind of rethink careers and how I can work and uh, this direction through YouTube and light amounts of catering seems to be working in my favor. Unfortunately, a 40 hour week on my feet doesn't seem to be in the cards right now for me. It's not what I want, but it's how I have to adjust. So today we continue to bake, we celebrate. I'm completely grateful for my fiance sticking by me and spending her holiday alone with me at the hospital in 2021. In 2022, I'm here with friends who have been instrumental, I'll name them specifically Martina and Jack, for their dedication to help getting this project off the ground. And I couldn't be happier. So thank them both from Boo and I. Uh, I look forward to seeing you again. I hope you will subscribe. I hope you will continue to share this page with your friends, with your family. Hit the like button, share it, leave a comment. And I wish you nothing but joy and peace through that, this holiday season, regardless of your faith, creed, or religion. We're all in this together. So thank you.